Hi, I'm Jude from HeadFi.org. When it comes to icons in the high-end headphone industry, it's hard to top Sennheiser's Axel Grell. Axel is the product manager high-end for Sennheiser. He's also one of the key figures behind the Sennheiser HD800, easily one of the most highly regarded high-end headphones of all time. Now, I've wanted to meet Axel for a long time. We've communicated via email, but until recently, I hadn't had a chance to meet him in person, which I really wanted to do. So when I finally did, I wanted to make sure to shoot an interview with him. So check out our interview with Axel Grell, product manager high-end for Sennheiser, where he talks about some of the newer high-end products coming out of Sennheiser that he worked on. Check it out. Hi, I'm Jude from HeadFi.org, and I'm here at the Sennheiser Exhibit CES 2013. I'm with the product manager high-end, Axel Grell. He is uh, a figure I think a lot of people on HeadFi want to talk to. I think most of us want to ask him questions that he's not allowed to answer. But today, we're going to look at a product that he can talk about. It's a legendary product, uh, the Sennheiser flagship from years past, the Sennheiser Orpheus. Um, uh, Axel, can you tell us about the Orpheus and why, why it's here? Yes, hi there. Uh, we have the Orpheus here. We have two of them. One to, to show it. One to, uh, we have to listen to it. And the Orpheus was was made in the beginning of the 90s, and it was j planned to b build only 300 pieces of them. And this is what we did. We s sold 298 of them, and the other two are here. And it was made to to show people what Sennheiser can do. It just to build the best headphone in the world. And engineers had as much money as they needed and as much time as they needed to make it. And uh, I think there was a, a headphone shootout last year on HeadFi and it comes out as still the best headphone in the world. And um, I can agree on that. So it works with, uh, the, it is driven by the, an amplifier which uh, has tubes. This is a very good uh, source for a condenser uh, headphone because a condenser headphone needs high voltages and uh, tubes are working on high voltages so they are the natural partner for condenser uh, headphone. It works uh, up to 100 kilohertz, maybe higher, but our measurement microphones cripples down at 100 kilohertz <laughs> so we are not able to measure to high frequencies. And in the low frequency range, it goes down to, you know, depends on 8 hertz, so low enough. And distortion level is lower of, uh, than the distortion level of every other headphone that I know and that I have measured. So, yes, best headphone in the world. And when you see it here in our booth, uh, people listening to it, they, it just puts a smile on their face when they listen to it. And, yeah, best headphone in the world, this is what I would say. But it is, it is extremely expensive. When it comes out in 1990, 1990 the price for the set was $15,000. And um, today, when you want to buy a good one on eBay, it is 30000 And OK, you can buy a rack for maybe three, dollars 4000 But OK, when you want to have a good one, 30000 on eBay, when you're lucky to get one. Right. <laughs> uh. Do you think, um, I mean, you had the HE90, the HE60. Uh, might we see another uh, electrostatic from, head, uh, from Sennheiser in the future? Probably something that you can't answer, but I'll ask it anyway. Uh, we are working, of course, on transducers. On okay. all transducer concepts, our main, uh, we built millions of uh, dynamic transducers, and we know how to do dynamic transducers. The IE800 has our latest dynamic transducer. Um, but we're looking at other principles as well. So we have a research department, but we have nothing uh, where we're working on um, in the moment. So, but that can change. All right, all right. Well, that was an artful dodge. He mentioned the IE800, and why don't we go talk about that right now? All right, Axel mentioned the Sennheiser IE800. That's the new flagship IEM in-ear monitor. Uh, that's what IEM stands for, uh, from Sennheiser. Uh, so I'm going to let him tell us about it, because it's a... Uh, it's a cool new product. I've listened to it actually quite a bit, and it's probably my favorite or one of my favorite uh, universal fit in-ear monitors. So, Axel, please tell us about the IE800. Yes, the IE800 is an award winner of uh, the CES Innovation Award, and the reason for this is it has so many innovations in it. 
Uh, the main innovation is uh, the completely new approach to uh, a high-end in your headphone. We just use a single transducer, just one transducer, not as competitors use four or six or I don't know how many. And uh, But this transducer is a perfect transducer for this use. Uh, it is uh, capable to reproduce the whole frequency range from uh, zero up to 46.5 kilohertz and uh, yes this is the main thing this is a motor and it is of course a Ferrari in this case right and uh, the next thing is we found a solution for uh, one thing that makes sound really annoying when you block your uh, ear channel it, it doesn't depend on the maker of, of the product uh, you always have a peak in the uh, frequency response because you block your ear channel, so you shift your ear channel resonance to a frequency which your brain doesn't know and can't calculate out. And it is in the range between 7 and 8 kilohertz when it is blocked. And so we found a solution for that, that is an absorber. We call it a damped two-chamber absorber and we applied for a patent for that. And this brings this peak down to zero so that you can hear the real high frequencies because the peak masks normally the real high frequencies. So this headphone is capable to reproduce high frequencies and you are capable to hear them. So there are much more um, innovations in it. For example, the housing is made out of ceramics. So it is extremely robust and um, you can it can't be destroyed by uh, makeup or solvents or whatever. So it's the same material that is used for teas, for example. Okay. And uh, so the ear adapters can easily be removed. They contain a mesh. They can be washed, so you can remove the uh, earwax easily. You just wash them under uh, warm water, let, uh, let them dry, put them on again, and go on. Um, the, uh, the cable is removable. It is not removable directly at the, the earphone, but at the divider. So uh, we found that most in-ears are, uh, when we, they have cable defects, it is at the plug that you plug into the player. So you can remove this part of the cable and uh, get a new one and it's working perfect. So this is IE800. Well, thanks, Axel. We're going to now talk about uh, uh, the upcoming headphone amplifier, but thanks for talking about the IE800. So we're back with Axel Grell again talking about the new headphone amplifiers, the Sennheiser HDVA600 and the HDVD800. And Axel's going to tell us about the amplifier um, and its availability. Yes, uh, HDVA600 is what I've had in my hand here. It is uh, something people expected for a very, very long time. Uh, that Sennheiser was a specialist for headphone, so should know how the headphone should be uh, driven the, in the best way. And uh, that's true, we had headphone amplifiers built by ourselves in our lab, of course, uh, for ourselves. And now uh, we uh, make them pl public. So we use a completely uh, balanced design, so the signal can be put in through balance inputs or through normal RCA inputs. When the, they are, when the signal is injected via the RCA inputs, uh, it is one part of the signal is inverted and then it runs through the whole um, circuit symmetrical. So that means we don't have only two amplifiers for a stereo headphone, but four of them. And of course, we don't have only a stereo potentiometer but now we have, may, you may can see it, oh, no you can't see it, uh, a quadruple uh, RK27 from Alps here. It is one of the finest potentiometers on the market. And uh, yes, it has a very, very smooth feeling when, when you move it. We spend a lot of time to have this uh, right, the a potentiometer is very close to the inputs, so that, that um, signal is 
already amplified when it runs through the other part of the circuit. And yes, it's not only a put into meter, it is a switch where you can switch between balanced and unbalanced input and the HDVD 800, the one with the digital inputs, has some more inputs here, but they are not in the HDVA 600, of course. <laughs> so it comes with a coax, uh, uh, optical, and AAS, EBU, and the one that I love most is the USB input, because when you have your files uncompressed or HD audio on your computer, uh, it is capable to uh, use 24 bits, 192 kilohertz, and uh, I had uh, um, this equipment on my desk for a while, so a PC with uncompressed material, this, uh, no, not this one, the HDVD, and an HD800, and this is perfect for working, so I like this very much. And uh, yes, the outputs are four pole XLR connectors, so we think it's more handy to have four pole XLR connectors for symmetrical outputs than to have uh, two three pole outputs. So this is our decision. And of course, it has output sockets uh, for um, normal jacks as well. Beca because when you just want to try a headphone that doesn't have the balanced cable, so put them in the these outputs work very well as well. But when you compare them directly to the balanced outputs, the balance um, sound better. Uh, the industrial design is, I think, very nice. Um, it is made completely out of aluminium, and uh, even this one is completely full metal. So, uh, yeah, I think it's worth the price. What is the price right now? Uh, the price right now, I have to look in, on my sheet. I just know it in, <laughs> in euros. <laughs> we'll put the price on the screen, the US retail price, because he knows it in the, the, euro, <laughs> the euro retail price. So, we'll put it on the screen now. Okay, and um, yes, we are just building HDVD 800s and they will be shipped. We start shipping in uh, February, so I think they will be end of February in the, on the, uh, in the shops. And the HD, uh, HDVA 600 will come three or four weeks later. Well, I used the HDVA 600 for a little while. I only had it for a little while, a short while. I was able to use it with the 600, 650, uh, the HD 700, and the HD 800, and it drives all those beautifully. I, I'll get another chance to try it with some other headphones from uh, other manufacturers also. But uh, that was uh, Axel Grell, product manager high-end, talking to us about the Orpheus, the i800, and the HDVA, HDVD6. Uh, uh, HDVA 600, HDVD 800. Uh, thank you so much, Axel. Thank you very much, and yeah, uh, much fun with listening to our products.